the House just voted on H.R. 6090, the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act, 320-91. to I told you, free speech is at risk. Christianity is at risk. They're coming for your freedom and values. They're attempting to pass a federal law making it illegal to criticize Israel and utilizing the definition of anti-Semitism by a group called the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. <laughs> Who is this group? Long story short, it's not American. Why are non-American organizations defining our words and laws? Under this new bill, the federal government can sue, prosecute, or sanction more people, businesses, and universities for supposed violations of civil rights law. I'm not advocating for anti-Semitism or hate at all. But I do know that freedom of speech is at risk. And freedom of speech means that we need to live with words or ideas we don't agree with. Here are a list of things that would be considered illegal if this bill passes the Senate and gets signed into law. Saying Ben Shapiro loves Israel more than America. Illegal. Saying Jewish people are responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus. Illegal. Saying Jewish people control the media economy and government. Illegal. Saying October 7th was an inside job. Illegal. Being a Holocaust denier, of course, illegal. Saying George Soros is trying to create chaos and usher in a new world order. Illegal. You may or may not agree with any of these statements. That's not the point. The issues, opinions, and beliefs are yours and yours alone. You are allowed to hold them regardless of what the government tells you to believe. Free speech is the cornerstone of our society. First they take your words, then they take your ideas and ability to communicate. Next, we're nothing but slaves serving their dystopian oligarchy.